Good day everybody, here is another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the drafting tool and we're gonna be putting drafts on, on this uh, plastic part so it comes out of the mold easier. And yeah, it's, I'll show you a few tricks that I've learned to how to put in drafts. Okay, so I'm in assembly view here, I've got two two parts i'm gonna go put draft on this bigger claw here so um, in assembly view you can view the features of your part by going to tree filters and make sure feature is ticked and you can see all your features here so we're going to activate this to work with this part so first thing we'll do we're going to put a draft onto the side so we'll go draft here so what you do you select the surface you want to draft I want to draft that one and select your hinge open the reference and click on draft hinge draft hinges are, are like it's like hinge where where we can uh, start putting the angle on the hinge so you can put a hinge at the top you gotta pick the hinge on the right place so it won't work you can put the hinge at the top I'm gonna put that at the top because um, either way it should be fine so I'm gonna use one degree and I'm gonna t angle it that way so I'll just change that to one and accept so that works for drafting that way so for this surface here I'm gonna do that again but do it as a separate step Creo it's not really good to do all the steps in one go so I'll do that again select the surface you want to draft and I'm gonna click the hinge so it's I found it's easier to select the whole surface as the hinge instead of the curve and go in and put the angle you like one one degree two degrees or three i'll put about one and accept we also have uh these two sides that we we didn't put the draft on so we're gonna put draft on all all the the inner surface so the the mold can come out so that's the reason for drafting and okay so for this part here is, um, we've got to do it a different way we need to go back in time so there's an insert arrow here we're going to drag that back in time but we're in assembly view we can't actually do that so we're going to go open the part the selected part so just go right click and go open and to draft these this surface we're gonna go back in time we're gonna drag this arrow back in time and we want to go past the shell because we want to draft on the outside on the outside and then shell it because it's too complicated to draft inside the shell so we we'll go outside before we shell it and we'll put a draft on here and it's also um, problematic, problematic to draft with a fillet or a round. We we gotta go before the round and then put the draft in. So let's go use the draft tool again. And I want to draft over here and click the hinge surface. And I want what should I do? I'll put draft here. Okay, so I want this I mean, this length from here to there to stay the same. So I'll select the hinge over here instead of here. So if I click that hinge there when it rotates, it doesn't affect the length over here. So let's say I'll put a one degree there. Accept and click OK. So there should be a draft there if I switch to front view. 
Just do a good left view and switch on wireframe. There's a slight angle there. So there is a draft of one degree. So so to draft some some surface you gotta go back in time and start going through bring bring the other features back. So just go through and check make sure each feature works again. So there's no problem. So you bring all back and your whole part should have a drafting. You got a draft on that surface, on this surface, and also on the two sides there. Yeah, I've been trying to draft the two sides within the show and it doesn't really work. It's uh, too difficult. And I found also sometimes it, if it's really hard to draft, you can use the chamfer tool, you have to resort to that. So you can use the chamfer tool and switch it to angle and dimension and you can adjust the angle on surfaces. So I'll cancel that. But let's say that and go file close and we'll go back to our assembly view with draft surfaces on the inside and again if you want to do put um, drafts on the outer surface you can do the same step go back in time and put the draft on the outside of the the part but there you go that's that's um yeah i can't seem to find any techniques tricks to draft in pro engineer but um yeah i've been trying to find a solution for that so um, a good idea is go back in time, uh, apply the draft at the beginning of your bare model and go back through the steps and make sure there is enough draft. And to use the draft tool, select the surface you like and select the hinge surface. So that's, that's, uh, that's drafting, that's how you apply drafting pro parametric. Do you have any tips or have, you have a better idea? Make a video yourself and just reply to this video and share share your ideas so we can learn how to create uh, complicated high quality parts. Uh, that's it for today guys. See you later everybody.